It was a big day out for these blind and partially sighted children who travelled more than 400 kilometres from the city of Mar del Plata to visit the Buenos Aires planetarium with the promise they'd be able to touch the skies. Adding audio to distinguish the new stars from the old is a great idea and allows them to imagine distances and different sizes, something very difficult to explain to the blind, almost impossible. With these specially made tactile skies, more instructions in braille and enhanced audio, visually impaired visitors can, for the first time, identify stars and constellations, trace the Milky Way and explore the planets. We're all observers of the sky, scientists, specialists in teaching astronomy, but basically people are used to seeing the sky. This has completely changed our parameters. We're observing in a different way. Both teachers and those at the planetarium say the main obstacle to including those with disabilities in activities many of us take for granted is our lack of imagination in how to relay the message. This meteorite fell to Earth 4,000 years ago. Now, with an imaginative approach to teaching and a policy of inclusion, the visually impaired can share in the thrill of touching it and in the wider wonders of astronomy. And it's not just for the children. These adults say they've often been excluded since so much relies on the visual. My parents always explained as best as they could that there were points of light but this system allows us to imagine the sky far more graphically. This has opened our minds, shown us how small we are in this universe. We're nothing but at the same time we're an important part of creation. Observation does not rely just on the visual, was one of the mottos used here. Letting the blind and visually impaired into the sighted world and forcing the rest of us to see the skies and much else from a different perspective. Daniel Schwein, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.